Um, you know what I did last day? I took this jar and I filled it with pasta. And then I counted every single pasta that's in there. It took me about an hour. It was very boring, very boring. And you know why I did that? I did that because I wanted to verify a theory. The theory of the wisdom of the crowds. It's a scientific theory that says that a crowd of people like you today can sometimes solve complex problems such as guessing how many pastas are in this jar. The theory came up about a century ago, 1906. There was a British scientist called Francis Galton and Francis Galton was convinced that the crowd is stupid and he wanted to measure this stupidity. So he went out on a fair and asked 800 people if they could guess the weight of a cow that was exposed there. People were completely wrong. It didn't work. The crowd was stupid. But Galton noticed something, something very strange. The average value of all the estimates was 547 kilos. The actual weight of the cow was 545 kilos. Very strange. So last day, I went out in the streets and I asked people at random if they could tell me how many pastas were in this jar. I asked about 60 people. The smallest value I received that someone told me was 80, 80 pasta. I don't believe this is correct, right? The highest value I received was 50,000, 50,000 pasta in there. I mean, I couldn't even carry it. But however, the average value I computed was 819. Last night in my kitchen, I counted 840. So this is no magic, actually. It's uh, just, science, just, just math and statistics. It turns out that if you ask somebody at random, the probability that you find somebody who is overestimating the correct value is about the same as the probability that you ask someone who is underestimating the correct value. Therefore, if you ask a lot of people, the answers will be about the same, distributed the same way on the right and on the left side of the correct answer. And therefore, the average gives you about the correct answer. So um, this is just one possible mechanism of collective intelligence. There are many others that we are studying here. But be careful, the crowd can also be wrong. It can be very wrong, seriously biased, as we see sometimes in online evaluation websites. And so you're going to ask me, when is the crowd wise and smart? And when is the crowd stupid and irrational? Well, I don't know. Not yet. But my job here at the Max Planck is to find out answers to those questions. Thank you very much. <laughs>